The word art is probably one of the most ambiguous and controversial word ever. What is art? Is all art equal? Is all art good? Can good art be bad? What makes a work of art? What makes an artist? Aren't we all artists? Is an artist an artist if the art is not art? I have to confess, I am a little bit of an art snob. I have my opinions and preferences, and if I find a performance amazing, of course everybody should find it amazing. But how arrogant and foolish, because that's not the point. All this time I was missing the point. My taste, your taste, may not matter at all. Art is not there to please or displease us. It is there to augment reality and offer possibilities. It is there to amplify the human condition, reflect the zeitgeist of time and provoke us from emotion, to question, to action, to change. Artists are change makers. They are social sensors and transmitters of ideas. And in an increasingly data-driven world, artists have been taken for granted because these qualities are hard to quantify, yet bring a fundamental value to society. We know art is good for the brain, for the soul, for education, good for communities and good for the economy. We know the arts are the archives of our human history, the wind of invention and the heartbeat of humanity. It is not so much about the pleasing outcome, but about the intent, impact and process, which is critical to innovation. We, artists, might have been taken for granted, it's true. But I think we have also taken our potential for granted. Our ability to play and imagine, to question and problem solve, to look at life through different lenses and invent. Artists need to be at the table today and part of the operating system of solutions, where their creativity transcends their current media of expression, and truly enacts change in a deeply interconnected world. Artists as innovators. That's what I envision for 2030 and beyond. <laughs>